so in this video we're going to take a look at the um, open range course editor which you get with the open range 2 from laser ammo smokers range and um, we're going to use this course editor to create a, a new course a custom course using custom assets so when you first look uh, load the actual open range editor you see obviously all the courses uh, you've got the categories here and all the courses listed uh, you've also obviously um, got the uh, ability to obviously um, change category and obviously you can see that obviously there's uh, two categories at the moment so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, create a new category so I'm just going to uh, do that now so create a new category so obviously you can see that we've got that category now um, and, but there's no obviously courses uh, ready yet so let's go ahead and create a course so we give it a course name so we go demo course course description which is a uh, you can simply use whatever you want on there then next we need to add a stage so we're going to add a stage and obviously I can uh, give that a name so we'll just call that stage one and then once you've got that you then go to edit the stage so this then brings you on to the uh, the window which allows you to start building out the stage so first off the back you on the left hand side you get obviously your targets so you can see all your different target types here and you can obviously select through any of those you have your, your backgrounds again you've got all those available to you and then obviously you have your objects very similar to what we saw in the uh, the media manager um, if you haven't seen that video i'll put a, a card link up in the top right hand corner to that so i'd recommend checking it out first before you uh, watch this one so you can see how the assets were um, imported and set up so um yeah i mean essentially it's pretty straightforward from the point of view of obviously getting to find you need to choose a background so you select the background drop it in here and obviously you see your backgrounds there if you don't like that you can choose a different background uh, you know fully fully um, capable of just obviously sort of tuning it to whatever background you want so we're going to go for the one we imported so if I can find that here which is this one so basically this is one we're going to use as our backdrop just like a, a kind of area that's kind of clean space that we're going to use to put some assets on so again you um you obviously have an ability now to obviously choose to uh, obviously insert some uh, assets so we're going to go to objects and what i'm going to do here is obviously find the some of the panels i've produced so so if you've if you've seen the previous uh, video uh, on the media manager you'll you'll recognize that these are the assets that we, we uh, defined so i'm going to bring those in a second so we have this one and i'm going to set this at a distance of say 20 feet so you've got the ability to obviously move the asset around and you can see the position here uh, obviously showing you where that asset is in terms of its coordinates within this window you can right click on the asset and obviously you can choose to duplicate that or you can obviously sort of move dock it to uh, different parts of the um the location you know the actual background or the course area itself um but ultimately you know you have the freedom of obviously moving it around so i'm just going to position this roughly around here to start with now i've also um got this panel which i'm going to bring on now i'm just going to put this at 25 a second so this was uh, a panel that I used to actually put like a backing drop in. So I literally use that to sort of like provide uh, a way to hide anything behind this kind of transparent window. Now you don't have to use that. I just I just use these to sort of like allow you to have that kind of uh, visualization that this is like you know a, a kind of a room or something like that with a, an open window where obviously you know you um, can put any targets in there. It just gives a nicer look, I think. So um, that's in place. So let's go ahead now and. Uh, find some other assets so we've also got this which is an ammo crate that I did so again we can put this at say um, 15 feet so again this is you know it can sit here it's again it's just a, a visual element added to the course to sort of give it a bit more sort of substance to the course now also somewhere in here I think we imported some tires yet so we do that uh, let's set these for say 18 feet and you can see that you know these are scaling and um, obviously Again, just assets that you can use to add it some sort of element of, uh, of sort of dimension to your image. So once we've got that in place, we then go to the targets. Now we've predefined a target here as well, which I would look for, which I think is this one. And oops, bring that in, and we set this one to twenty-five feet. So that's twenty-five feet uh, from the uh, the front of the screen here, and as you can see that this is eighteen feet. So in terms of sort of scaling wise. If I put this to uh, the same distance as the tires, 18 feet, you can see, you know, you, your assets typically, obviously, 
may or may not scale whatever but you when you're in your media manager you need to define obviously the, the kind of real world size so to speak or a, a, a dimension size that matches all the other assets so you end up sort of having a, a very kind of similar look to so again you know this 18 feet if i set this to 18 feet you kind of you see how the dimensions kind of are a close approximation in terms of size so it gives you that ability now the reason for this backdrop is if you think of this as layers so we have this one at 20 feet and then this one at 25 feet so if i put this uh here at say 20 um it's 26 feet oh no sorry what am i doing that's 25 so it needs to be before that so if i make it 24 feet you then see that it can actually fit inside the distance of those two so i see this one at 20 feet i could set this one to be uh 21 foot and that then scales accordingly but it's still it's still inside that box as opposed to outside so obviously if i set it to sort of 19 you can see obviously it's in front of it so you so the ability to be able to have your assets kind of scale accordingly and obviously then they can obviously be positioned and you can have these um objects layered so they're, they're all in sort of like a, a kind of if you think of folds if you think of sheets of paper on top of each other they're just laying on the screen in that sort of two-dimensional plane with um, different layers and the distance being the the controller in terms of which which layer is on top of whichever layer so you can see how you know you can build up quite a, an interesting sort of course whatever and obviously use these approaches to um to obviously build out your course and define how the uh, the targets are positioned and, and how they're scaled so once you've got that done obviously you need to obviously uh have something to obviously react with the target so what you can do then is you can edit the target and you can choose some actions so first of all we have our target actions so we can have things like turn pop up from the bottom pop top left right knock down different behaviors on the targets now so on this one we're going to just put it to turn uh face sound you can have a, a sound trigger when obviously the target turns so if you want to be notified when the a targets become available as a sort of audio cue you can do that hit sound again you can have um different obviously uh, uh sounds are attributed to a, a hit on that target or you can just leave it alone show delay so how many i believe this is in seconds but how many seconds you wait before that uh that target appears so i can obviously do 10 seconds or or five seconds before it appears on screen uh, facetime is obviously how long it stays on screen before it obviously flips back into its turn state so you get five seconds to take the shot and then how many hits are required to to obviously uh, hit that target or turn that target so i'll go one you can also um uh, mark targets as no shoot targets by using this option and obviously then uh, you know that obviously then will change the behavior of that target so once you've done that you're pretty much good to go so now obviously you've defined a course so so this course being quite basic but you get the principle of how obviously you can use these assets to um to build up a course that's you know, kind of your own personal custom course so um i hope that's a kind of you know quick introduction and obviously um, allows you to sort of see how easy it is to use the open range to uh, course editor to build out your courses so anyway so yeah once we've done that obviously we can go back and then we can choose to obviously then save those changes and that course is now saved and then obviously if we uh, exit here then obviously you can see you've uh, you've got that category so you've still got your stock courses but now you have your your new category so yeah so um obviously i hope you enjoyed that video and obviously uh, what we do in the next video is we'll run that course uh, and obviously see how it shoots and obviously we can then add to that course over time but yeah that's a that's a quick introduction to the course editor for the uh, open range 2 uh, which is from laser ammo smoke loose range thanks for watching